Hi, this is India with Bags and Lifestyle. Thank you so much for watching this video. We are on, you don't know this, but I'm telling you now, I'm on my third video. I am churning and burning them out. Okay, so I'm so excited about that. So let's go ahead and get into it. Get into it. All right, so I'm, I'm showing so, so much excitement, but the topic of this video is on my Kira top handle from Tory Burch and it's actually not a happy or exciting video. I'm very upset and that's why I wanted to record this video. So this bag I have had just to give you a quick backstory. I've had for two and a half years. Yes, two and a half years. So in June, it'll be three years that I would have had this bag, June 2023. So this is not my everyday bag. I actually do not have an everyday bag for reference. So I just want to give a quick reference here so you can understand where I'm coming from with this. <laughs> so I work from home. So I do switch out my bags on a weekly basis. Uh, when I initially started, when I initially bought this bag, I was carrying it, carrying my bags doing a rotation of twice, wearing them for two weeks. So that way they got the use because I'm not really going anywhere during the week other than to the gym or to the store really quick. So I would carry my bags for two weeks. That way I felt like I was getting my use out of them. And then I realized that I still needed, to, I needed to increase the frequency in order to rotate my bags more often. So I started only using them once a week, not once a week, I'm sorry. I started rotating them on a weekly basis. But I just wanted to give reference there that initially, maybe I would carry this bag for two weeks and then it may be another two months before I get back to it again because of the way that I was rotating my bags. Now, all right, all that to say, I recorded two videos so far on this puppy here. And both of those videos have been mostly positive. I've talked about pros and cons, but this was going to be a I'm very upset <laughs> video. So as I was doing my little rotation, sorry, as I was doing my little rotation thinking, okay, what bag am I going to carry next? I decided to pull out my Kira because my husband and I were actually going out of town to Nashville for a couple of days. And I wanted to play around with carrying one of my luxury bags with me. And while somebody may not feel like this Tory Burch is a luxury bag, anytime your bag is over, you know, $100, you're in that luxury category. Maybe you're not in the tier different there and there's different tiers of luxury. And so, yeah, if I want to call a luxury bag, it's a luxury bag. There it is. So if you don't agree with me, you can get over it. All right. So anyway, so I decided, you know what? Instead of taking my normal travel bag with me, I'm going to take a luxury bag. And I was thinking about taking this one. And when I pulled it out, I quickly changed my mind. And this is the reason why. Let me give you a close up here. Can you see those corners? I'm hoping you can see them. But they are starting to... I don't want to say peel, but they're starting, the, the corners are starting to break down. It's also happening. I'm seeing eh, slight. You can't really see it on that side, but I think on this side, yeah. Seeing the very beginning stages. There's a little mark right here. It's probably not going to show up on camera, but I'm seeing the very beginning stages of it starting to break down. But this corner you can see here. I feel like it definitely does look worse in person. And then after looking at that, I was inspecting the side flap. My side flap is starting to break down as well. And I'm hoping I can get some close-up photos so you can really see so it doesn't seem like I'm a crazy person trying to complain about everything. I, and the reason why I mentioned how often I carry and rotate my back so you can understand I'm not hustling and bustling with any of my bags. And I don't wear my bags every day. And then also the fact that I've had this bag two and a half years. And when I recorded a video earlier in 2022, I reported not much wear except for a few little places. And then all of a sudden, I don't know, my bag hit this point and it was like, <laughs> I feel like it's going downhill. So I'm basically considering getting rid of this bag and going to find a replacement for it because I don't want to keep it and see this continue to deteriorate. So yeah, that's the update. So I will say that 
I learned about the wear and tear of the Kira not being the best at least a year, year and a half after I had already purchased my bag. I, with my contemporary brands like this, like Tory Burch or like Coach, I don't really do a lot of research on wear and tear the way that I would with like a Fendi or another higher priced point bag. So I did not know that Kira's were known for this until I saw a video by Shandy Cole where she had actually talked about, I think it was more along the topic of items that are in the Tory Burch sale and she kind of ranked it by best and worst and Kira was one of them because she talked about the wear and I was like what my Kira's not doing that and now it is so <laughs> I'm just yeah I'm not happy it's breaking down in a lot of spaces around these curves so it's gonna do nothing but go downhill so we're gonna have to get rid of old girl yeah we're gonna have to get rid of old girl and I might give it to my niece yeah I don't think I want to sell it because it's. I'm probably just going to have to sell it for like, a, I don't know, $50 or something like that, I feel like. So I don't really want to do that. So I think I'm going to give the bag to my niece. Um, but super cute. But I'm just not excited about the wear. So definitely if you're a person that is considering the Cura line, unless they made some changes and updates, this is in lambskin to, for reference just so you know. Now the feel of it is not as soft as like my Fendi Peekaboo lambskin or I have another bag by Millie New York that's in lambskin. It's not as soft as this. So I thought, okay, it's a more, it's it's probably going to wear a little better because it's not as soft and, and, and delicate. But I don't know what it is. I don't know whether it's, it's just that the way these corners are, they are, they're breaking down and yeah, I'm just not happy. I'm just not happy. So if you all have any suggestions, please let me know in the comments below if there's something that I can do. I don't think it's worth trying to pay to have the corners restored simply because I think it's just more so the probably the quality of the leather I'm thinking as well as kind of the design that is going to make it break down the funny thing is when I'm thinking about where the wear is happening I mean it's not like these are sharp edges they're not super pointy they're kind of like curved edges so I don't know if I just don't know I think it's maybe the way it's folded in it's kind of pointy over here is maybe the reason why whatever the reason why is I really did like this bag and so I wanted to record this video to help somebody else yeah oh girl gotta go hopefully this is a warning to you that if you plan on rotating your bags more often wear them more often or keep your bags longer like around this mark or longer then you may want to rethink getting a Kira line item or at least not getting this style in the Kira. All right. Thank you for watching this video. Let me know if you got questions down below.